Incheon, South Korea, where China's women set a world record in the 10-meter air rifle team event. But the squad was then disqualified and forced to appeal to try and get their new standard recognized. Yi Si Ling, Wu Liu Xi, and Zhang Binbin were in fine form, combining to score 1,253.8 points, just 0.1 points out of the previous mark, which was also set by China at the Asian Shooting Championships in Tehran. That score had China on top of the standing, but the team almost missed out on both the gold and the world record when Zhang was disqualified for shooting with a heavier rifle during the qualification round. That forced an appeal by her team, and she was eventually allowed to compete after judges upheld the team's vehement appeal, a lengthy process which delayed the individual final for 30 minutes. That meant smiles for the Middle Kingdom, but disappointment for Singapore, who were in the bronze medal position before the Chinese appeal was upheld and had to settle for fourth. The Iranian team, who had been declared winners prior to the appeal, had to settle for silver. South Korea took the bronze has decided to hang up her racket. Li Na saying her troublesome knee will not allow her to play anymore. She made the announcement official yesterday at the home of the China Open, and after a very tearful press conference, she sat down with our Wang Dong in this exclusive interview. How hard it was actually to make such a decision to retire, to step away from the court. Well, I think, I think it's pretty easy to say goodbye. But I think it was for me, it's a very tough even. I, th I saw more tough when I was playing grandstand. You know, because I think I love my job. And especially, I think I'm doing well in the beginning of the year. And because of the injury, because of the age, because of the body feeling, you know, I, I cannot handle anymore. So, so that's why I was designed last weekend, say, okay, I think I'm done. Because I cannot push myself anymore. So I say, okay, I think it's the best time to move on. Did you see that coming actually after perhaps the uh, French Open or Wimbledon that you would like to say this is it? I think when I start to have the feeling was I think around like March after Miami already because my left knee already swollen. So I was like, I was thinking about what happened. I have a very good beginning of the year and then now injury come, come back again. So I try, I think, oh, maybe maybe I can fix or something. But I try, I try so many times, uh, but still cannot 100% on the court. So I was talking to myself, I say, okay, if you cannot, you know, now women's tennis was changed pretty fast. If you want to stay in a high level, you have to keep the feet. So I was like, okay, if you cannot keep the feet, you waste the time. Why you should stand up on the court? Um, especially after I was doing my fourth operation on the knee, I was like, I tried to, honestly, I tried to play Beijing and Wuhan, these two big tournaments in China. Because Wuhan is my hometown, also Absolutely. the first year in Wuhan. I really tried, but didn't work. You know, I think my doctor, my physio, they do an excellent job, but about the age, about the body feeling. I was thinking, well, okay, you cannot, you cannot handle anymore, you know. So I was like, okay, I think it's the time. Many people would still hope that maybe there is a slim chance there for Lena to come back to change her mind. I have to say so sorry about that. Uh, it's no chance anymore. Um, when, because? Because now I have to take care of my family. You know, tennis is a part of the life. If I didn't play anymore, but I still have to continue for my life. And also, these couple of years, I think I really didn't have much time to with them. So now I try to give back, I try to with them even more time. Of course, one day I will have my children, so I will take care of them as well. You were so close to actually know world number one, right after your Aussie success, everything. You really didn't have any regret? Um, when I was decided to retire, I was asking myself so many questions. Say, okay, if you are retired, how you feel now? I was like, I think it's the best time for me because I really try to, how to say, prove myself 100% even more. So, 
you know, when you, when, you, when you catch this world number one, you have a next goal. So it cannot stop, you know. Endless. No end. You know? <laughs> so I will think about family now for me is the most important thing. Speaking of family, I know Dennis will be very happy to have you around, you know, even though you might argue, you might quarrel, but you have time more to, you have more time together, right? You know, I think between me and Dennis, like teens, you know, always together, working together, live together. So I have to say, uh, you know, for Chinese men, they always, uh, it's a little bit special for the Chinese men. Not so many people, they like to stay behind a woman to sport in, in dinner, but I think Dennis do it. So now I think it's the time to, to turn. I have to support him. They're talking about your academy, future academy, which is going to be definitely a hit, like Yao Ming's academy as well. What would you really like to do specifically? Because this is going to be so much in the limelight, Lina's Tennis Academy. I know now I have so many, like, some academy or something, but I didn't want to be like like club, you know, only to make the money and to do something. I really want to working with some school, so the children can like have they go to the school and have to play tennis. Um, you know, especially when I was young, I I didn't have too much time to go to school. So I think this for me is a little bit missing. So I didn't want the children. How to say? only have one way, school or play tennis. They can have both choice, you know, so I think it's better for them. What would you like to teach your young players most? At first, you have to make the goal for your life. It's not like life. Maybe if you catch this goal, you have the next one. So just make the goal and then keep going. Don't give up. As Lee said, she has never given up throughout her 15 years of professional career. One of the key reasons is that she always has her fans around through thick and thin. Um, really, thanks for them to support me so many years. Um, you know, every athlete has, has to face this moment. So it's not only a Um I'm, I'm not playing anymore, but maybe I will, I will try to be every CD when I was playing tournament to look in the room. <laughs>